Hello, welcome to the video for what is a math expression node. I've gone ahead, I've created a quick little example here and I'll run it. If I go ahead and click pew pew, we'll notice we lose a little bit of health. Now this isn't a simple click the button and lose five health. We have a little formula here and basically we're going to change this into a math expression node which will allow us to compact this all down into one node and we can actually use shorthand notation and it's really nice. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, let's move this out of the way. Let's go ahead and right click. We'll search for math expression. And you will notice you have an add math expression node. We'll go ahead and add this. Now a math expression node, basically the top part, this name part, this which is actually down here, the expression, we can edit the expression down here or you can edit the expression up here. That is what it's expecting to do. So for example, if we wanted one value subtracted from another value, we could do something very simple such as A minus B and it's going to ask for an A, a B, and a return value. That's simple. So for example, for our example, what I'm doing is I'm taking the player's armor, dividing it by 10, I'm taking that value, subtracting it from the damage amount, so it reduces the amount of damage taken. Then I'm taking the result of that, subtracting it from the player health, and then putting it into our player health variable. So if I wanted to write this in math notation, we'd start with our player health, which we'll set to A, and we're going to subtract the result of the damage amount subtracted from the armor divided by 10. So B subtracted from and we'll go ahead and change this to C divided by 10, close it off, and we'll now have our math expression node right here. If we were to put in all three of them and return out the value, it, we should get the same. Now, if we double click, this allows us to actually go into the node and check out what we did. And you can actually see the little flow here. This is also where you can change your input and output types. By default, you notice it defaulted to float. I actually want to change these to integer, so I'm going to change these to integer. And you'll notice as I did that, it went ahead and changed and made the appropriate connections, converting floats to ints or ints to float. Now that all of my inputs are integer, my output is now an integer instead of a float. I'll go ahead and compile and save that. Now if you notice, if you close this, you're going to lose everything. You're going to close down your event graph. You want to go back by either clicking on event graph here or the little arrow on the top left to go back to your node. Now you notice our node is basically set up waiting for three inputs. So let's take our player health, let's go ahead and take our damage amount, and let's go ahead and take our armor. And we'll put them in in that order, because that was what we were expecting. And we'll go ahead and plug this into our player health, and we'll run it. And we should see the same result. We've basically taken all of this, made it into an expression node that we simply typed out instead of having to drag, drop, drag, drop, drag armor, divide, drag damage amount, subtract. We just simply typed it in our math expression, A minus B minus C divided by 10. It follows the normal order of operations, parentheses, um, P, E, M, D, B, D, A. I can't remember the acronym, but basically it follows the normal math expression for um, order of operations and to go ahead and output and that's it. Simple as that. The math expression node is just simply to allow you to type in things. It can take different variables. It can take things like sines and cosines. You can do um, um, uh, uh, different variable types. You cannot do increments and decrements and other normal coding uh, standards. I will go ahead and link below the actual page on Unity Epic's website I was going to say Unium and Unreal Engine on Epic's website for the documentation that actually shows you what you can and cannot do and for the math expression, the expression parameters. And that's it. You have a good day.